best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. All right, anything you lose in the locker room. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. This is a venue that has hosted a lot of major UFC events. I think we're the only ones not drinking it. I mean, we want to join the party. The fans are going crazy. They're singing, they're cheering, they're screaming. This is a great fight environment. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Blocks the shot to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Great punch, landed with so much power. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, and he lands. Oh! Huge oh. right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, man. Huge kick to the body. He got him. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Effective hit. punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Three minutes remain in the round. Leg kick through. Nice kick. Real quick leg kick. And they separate. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very
Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here too. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. And just misses with that big right hand. Flush right hand is true. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch lands. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Choi. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Get the turtle in that kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Gets the elbow there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, big punch lands. Blocks the shot. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Point sequence for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. Okay, now two, you ready? You ready? Second round here. Punch over the top. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Whiffs on that offering. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Ooh, what a head kick. Straight punch lands. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Joy's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Back and forth we go here! Beautiful body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. That's a big strike right there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, big knee to the body, man. Head kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And the right horn sounds on round two. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. by this young man. Big roundhouse now, just misses. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. He tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression. And oh! Both guys landed big shots. Beautiful knee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Big head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. 
And he landed the right hand there. There's no tell on that leg. Oh, kick. nice combination of kicks once again. Here's the kick blocked by Choi. Straight right hand, no good. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. With two minutes and change to go in round three. I mean, how many can he take? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Checks the leg kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. You got to check. He's now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got a pass! 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Wow! Ooh, dive and punch the hands. How about those five minutes? A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. Effective punch there by Choi. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Both fighters throwing heat now. 
Now connects with the right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice right hand. Choi's shot there is blocked. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh! Diving punch lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit, guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Real nice body kick land. Joy gets caught with that punch. Back and forth we go. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, that kick is good by Choi. Oh, yeah, right hand. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes now to go. Back to the feet. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big head kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big kick. Just misses there with the left. Strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. 